once again <coughs> with the hill behavior D for damage ah is it back once again with a renegade master D for damage with a hill behavior how many people out there actually knew what that meant <laughs> or actually understood the lyrics it was spared back in back in the day <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, and by the way, you're welcome for having that tune running around your head now all day. Back once again with the Renegade Master, deep for damage with the ill behavior. I was hoping I'd be on my own over here at the fucking way, but it doesn't look like it, does it? Oh well, never mind. We are doing the usual again. And uh, yesterday I had my little parcel turn up with my uh, new SD cards. Proper job. So I've put them in the back cameras now, so I have got a full court of fucking 64 gig awesome stuff oh look it's the non-drivers I'm not going to show you because it's just you know. but I'm just going to keep out of it a bit uh, a bit late this morning not really makes any difference to be fair I mean I ain't really got anything important to do I'm just gonna turn up in a sense and that's what I pretty much do is just turn up I've done all my gubbins so I haven't got to worry about checking the trailer out and whatever so I've done all that that's that's out of the way so good news I was watching a couple of videos this morning. Um, <coughs> one that was on about um, Tesla's ionic propulsion, maybe, could possibly be something like that. Um, basically, this guy had, uh, had made this little device and uh, it looked pretty cool. I can't argue there. It was very fascinating the fact that uh, he'd got light bulbs and he was able to um, put a normal light bulb, standard light bulb, up against it and it captured the plasma inside the glass bowl, which is quite cool. It didn't ignite the element, but it did, you could see the plasma whizzing around it, like you know. But as for uh, fluorescent tubing, fluor fluorescent tubing. Um, that thing was literally he picked it up and it was on it was already it was already a, a light you know what i mean because they work differently they do same with the um halogen bulbs as well they 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 sort of like immediately turn on as he gets closer like you know and uh, i found that quite fascinating and then he, he he changed it then to um he made these uh, pieces of wire in like a carousel sort of thing because he's got a spoke on the top which is where the the charge is, is spooting off and he made this into a carousel then put little planes on it and as he turned it on obviously the current then went through the top of the spike and then down through the cable these like stiff uh, copper wire and it was blasting out the uh, and it started to spin around and he, he says he's not sure as why it's doing this he says but uh, he only he, the only thing he can think of is it could be that it's an ion propulsion that's doing this because he don't know whether it's air which it probably is the air because if it's displacing the air it's also the actual plasma stream is pushing the air anyway so it's blowing out this naked flame we got out of a lighter like you know so it's pretty cool i thought it was really cool yeah see i like stuff like that because it was it was i mean the guy didn't come across 
claiming shit. He just says, look at this, what I've done. You know what I mean? And it was, uh, it was really fascinating. He didn't say like, oh, I've invented the new this. Oh, this is blah, blah, blah. It was like, just see what I've done. What, it, what do you think it is? Because I'd like to know. What do you think the process is, is why this is moving around in a, in a circle on this carousel? Why is these uh, electronic charge, which is, looks like a Bunsen burner in effect, are able to make this spin round? He says, oh, I don't know. He says, I, I couldn't guess, but... So I like things like that. They don't claim anything. They just do, show, and go, eh, well, it happened. I fucking don't know how, but it happened. And then you've got the usual dribble, which will just take an out itself. Apparently, we on um, according to this one show, uh, I think I watched about three quarters of it, and then I just decided that's enough because they started spouting stuff. I'm like, oh, here we go again. <sighs> we're we're heading towards a mass extinction, apparently. We're all going to drop dead. I love these ones. I tell you, they really do make you laugh. They do. We are polluting this. We're doing this. Oh, here we go. Fucking global warming crap's going to come out and fucking environmental shit's going to come out. Go on, carry on. Oh, mm -hmm. You might think I'm a bit cynical when it comes to things like this, but the problem is, right, I'm all well and I'm all good for it, right? Whenever you can come up with positive data, right, not just one person, as the scientists have said, and they, they list one person, but the scientists, but it's one person. That's scientist, not scientists. Oh. Yeah, well. We already know about the, uh, the way things are of late. The fact that nothing ever really gets the full truth it's always a blend of make-believe and stuff like that I mean even <laughs> my little channel right as as wonderful as it is with you lot I'm getting censored oh, I think I've done all that now yeah. um, apparently for well, I don't know according to the the old Google thing I've got me a couple of uh, videos that aren't um, advertisement friendly so what the conclusion from me to that perspective is that they're not actually looking for any kind of, um, I can say it's syntax rhythm of words being spoken or that, this, that, and other. It's just single words that they're actually must be capturing. And when those words are flagged, regardless to what context they're in, that's it, you're done. Which, that's stupid. But then again, we are living in stupid times, aren't we? I mean, there's not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Because, let's just quote Forrest Gump, stupid is as stupid does, right? <clears throat> and yes, life was like a box of chocolates. <laughs> as Forrest Gump said it, because he's talking about the past. No. His mother says life is like a box of chocolates. The old wonderful Sally Field. No, not Sally Fields. It's not Sally Fields, it's Sally Field. Anyway, that's a different subject. But anyway, there you are. That's my uh, 10 pence worth of uh, information for the day. Um, if I've got anything exciting to show you or tell you, I have took my pictures, which are on my phone, of my... Uh, car boot stuff which I'll put on Facebook later. I might actually stick them on all Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I ain't fucking decided yet. What do you reckon? Fuck it. Uh, and you'll see my bargains I bought. You probably think with one of them is why. And uh, I mean I asked myself that question as well but I know I still did it anyway. I just find it fascinating. Right then I want to go. Times are moving on. And I will speak to you a lot tomorrow. Hopefully. Depending. Don't know. Ain't sure. We might not be fucking here. So I don't know. The infrastructure of the fucking world might just go... <laughs> implode on itself before the fucking morning turns up. Who's to say? The way people are going on, you'd think that was going to happen. Anyway. I'm going to go. You have a wonderful morning. And just remember, 
ignore the bullshit and enjoy your life. Bye. <sighs> I feel much better now. <laughs>